Today, we're looking at how to group processes in Simplify 3D. The Group Selection option can be found in the Edit menu. We've talked about how to group models using this feature, but now we're going to explore how this works with processes. Here is your process list. A process determines how the parts on your virtual build platform will be constructed. In most cases, you just use one process so everything will be printed with the same settings. However, today we're looking at a special case where we're using two processes so the parts will be printed using different settings. Here I have the standard profile with stock settings for a MakerBot Replicator 2. Because I only have one process right now, when I click Select Models, you'll see that all of the parts are selected, meaning that all three of my parts will be printed by this process. But because I want to use different settings for my bolts than for my bracket, I will deselect the bolts from this list. So now this process will only print the bracket. I'm going to rename the process Bracket Process to make it easier for myself. Now when I click Prepare to Print, you can see that only the bracket is going to be printed. But now I'm going to add another process to print my bolts by clicking the Add button. So as before, I'll click Select Models and make sure that only my bolts are selected. I'm going to rename this one Bolt Process. Now when we click Prepare to Print, the software knows that we have two processes to choose from. If I selected just Bolt Process, only the bolts will be printed. But if I leave both selected, all the parts will print. Since both these processes are using the stock profile for the Replicator 2, you can see that the settings are pretty much the same. For example, if I zoom in here, you can see that the infill percentages are the same. But let's change that. I want my bolts to have a higher infill density because they need to be strong enough so that I won't damage them when I turn them with a wrench. So I open the bolt process and change the infill percentage for my two bolts to somewhere north of 50% and click OK. Now when I slice them again and just slide down to the bottom few layers here, you can see a big difference in the infill percentage for the bolts and the infill percentage for the bracket. So that's how to use multiple processes to print parts with different settings in Simplify 3D. So let's say that I did actually print these parts and I found that they weren't sticking to the printer bed very well. So I decided to use a raft to help them stick to the bed better. But because I have two processes, if I wanna add a raft to all of my parts, I have to open the bracket process and click to add a raft and then open the bolt process and click to add a raft. So as you can imagine, if we're changing a lot of settings, this could get tedious. Luckily, there's an easier way. If we group these processes by selecting both, going to edit and clicking group selection, this does something very special in Simplify 3D. When you group processes, the software makes sure that any setting that's the same between all of the group processes stays the same. And any settings that are different between the processes remain different. For example, both of these processes originally had the raft disabled. So if I change it in the bracket process, it will automatically change it in the bolt process because those settings were the same when we grouped them. But as you'll remember, we used a different infill percentage for my bracket than I did for my bolts. So if I open the bracket process and change the infill percentage to 32, you'll see that it does not change for the bolt process. That's because these settings were already different when they were grouped. So to review, when you group processes, settings that are the same stay the same, and settings that were different stay different. We all know that 3D printing often requires us to make lots of little tweaks to our settings. This way, it's easy to make the same change to several processes at once. If you ever need to get back to the way things were before, where you can change a process setting independently, just go to Edit and click Ungroup Selection. And that's it. Now you know how to group processes in Simplify 3D.